Good morning, I'm meteorologist Emily Mers. We're going to be tracking some rain and some thunderstorms, especially as we get into the second half of the day today. If we look at our radar currently, we can see a couple of showers moving into our region, but the most of us seeing some sunshine this morning and even some blue skies to go along with it. But that's going to be changing a little bit as we get later into the afternoon. That being said, though, we can still see a couple of showers still moving in to that more northwestern corner of our area, closer to Montevideo, Wilmer, um, already seeing a little bit of rain in that region. If we look at our future cast, we can track out the rest of the afternoon. We'll likely see these clouds increase a lot closer to around lunchtime. And then after that, around 1.30, that's likely when we'll start to see more of these showers making their way into Minnesota. And then as we head further into the second half of the day, that's when we'll really start to see some of these showers picking up in intensity. This is also where we'll start to see a lot more of these thunderstorms. Now, keep in mind, a lot of these, a couple of these thunderstorms could be strong to severe um, at times, especially closer to around this time. We're expecting the heaviest part of this to reach the Mankato area close to around dinner time, around five uh, or six o'clock tonight. That will continue to clear out throughout the second half of that evening, clearing out in time for the overnight hours. We'll start the day off again tomorrow with a little bit of sunshine, but then one more time we'll see those showers moving back in into the afternoon, lasting overnight and into Thursday. Throughout most of the day, Thursday we will likely continue to see some rain um, and even some thunderstorms but not really looking at as much of a severe threat. Today we could be seeing some damaging wind gusts. Also could see some hail, some of which could be larger and more damaging. We can't rule out the chance of tornadoes, but it is the most unlikely out of the couple of hazards that we could be seeing. First alert day in effect for today because of that severe weather. We'll continue to see rain chances heading into the rest of the week.